we're here at Dockery Lake. You can see Dockery Lake parking area. And uh, getting ready to hike up to, uh, probably hike to the AT. I guess I just get tired and turn around. <laughs> Be interesting to see what this trail's like now. Different time of year than when I did it before. And it's been some storm since then. So we'll see how passable it is. In fact, a couple of guys I think just came off this trail. I may just ask them. <laughs> see what's going on. All right, let's get rolling. We've been here before. Uh, those guys there, I think, only did about 2.8. They didn't go all the way to the top. They stopped when it started pitching up, which uh, it does. Um, just before you get to the top, it'll pitch up fairly steep. But then it planes out pretty good, so uh, it's not too bad. We'll see how far we want to go. Making our way around the lake here. They definitely got some rain last night. Like I say, they definitely got some rain up here last night. But I woke up this morning, I got a message, uh, weather alert saying there was a chance of thunderstorm today. But no, nothing I've read, no other, I got uh, a couple of weather apps and neither one of them say anything about that at all. So. One piece of blow down here, right at the lake. I was asking those guys back there if there was a lot of blow down on the, on the trail because there's been a couple of storms come through since I was here last. And uh, they said no. There's some stuff that was cut, but the trail's pretty much open, so that's good news. And we're here at the dock. We're gonna head that way. The other kiosk is blank, so yeah, yeah, right here at the start you can see some blow down. And you can always kind of tell because the trail will open up. There will be a, a area where the sky kind of opens. And that's usually a sign that part of the can canopy has been ripped open by something. In this case, some big trees. Hate to see that. But it kind of is part of the natural cycle of things. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe just nothing at all, but there's a couple of little spots of it. And I'm wondering if it could be bear scat. Maybe a bear was coming along here. Maybe he even slid right here. I don't know. Something came through and broke it up. I'm sure there's a fair number of bear up and down this uh, corridor. Um, because we're in a fairly, fairly decent sized wilderness area between, uh, Woody, Dockery Lake, and out to Blood. So this whole ridge runs, uh, southwest to northeast. It's fairly wide. Now on the north side of this ridge, uh, you know, you have 180 there, so you're a little closer to civilization, but on this side, it's fairly dispersed, uh, I say civilization, I just mean homes and stuff. On this side, though, uh, homes are probably a little bit more dispersed, a little bit further down the slope than they are on that side. I would imagine the valley on that side is probably higher than the one down here. So, And this is a fairly steep slope going up to the AT. So, yeah, so there's not a lot of development or anything. A lot, nice wide corridor for, for bear to uh, live and uh, hunt and, and get plenty of substance. So, yeah, imagine there's plenty here. Still making our way around. Very moist. Yeah, this whole area got a good soak last night. It's making it a little bit humid, but not terribly hot. Got some folks coming up behind me, I heard been making pretty good time. I don't know if it's the folks with the dogs or somebody new. I'm sure we'll find out. They sound like they're closing in. 
Yeah, so this is where we come in, merge with this little bit of double track here. Looks like an old road, maybe. Kind of have things in your head when you do a hike again. And you kind of uh, remember certain things. And this opening up kind of into this, under this canopy, is one of the things that I remembered. And you kind of know that, well, I got to get past this point, and this point, and this point. And you kind of have recollections of what those points are. And this is one of them. I remember seeing this uh, ground cover as well. Uh, some more of it down here when I was here before. So, pretty cool. Really is a good trail. There's not going to be any overlooks to, to look out, but you're going to have some great stream crossings. Some of these have been dry, uh, mainly because they're probably just runoffs. Now, this one isn't completely dry, but. Very interesting color. Just saw this guy duck behind this as I was approaching. Good sized squirrel. I have visions of fried squirrel dancing in my head. <laughs> He's safe. It's not squirrel season. I don't have a squirrel gun, so. A lot of things working in his favor today. Well, up ahead we got some blue jays raising sand. Now, when I was a kid, if you heard blue jays raising sand like that, it meant something was afoot. Or even something without feet was afoot. Like a snake or some other type of uh, predator. So it's possible there's something up here that they've seen. Like a snake or some other kind of predator. Now they're getting quiet, so I don't know what's going on. Hard to say what they're yelling at. Could have been me. Could have seen me coming in the distance and were like warning other birds and so forth. Something was coming down the trail. Well, it could still be something ahead of us. We just don't know. This is another area that opens up really big and exposes these huge trees. This is a beautiful area. Camp area down there. Just a, it's an awesome place. I seem to recall taking a break over there once before. I remember this wash. Yeah, I think we sat here on our break. A little bit of water flowing down there. Folks with the dogs are up ahead of me that came by. The dog came down out of the woods behind me onto the trail. Kind of running up towards me, I guess for a second he must have thought I was his owner. And he stopped and looked at me like, wait a minute. Yeah, that I my people. You can really hear the water flowing down there. I don't know if there's a side trail going down there or not. I've heard people talk about the falls. I don't remember seeing any, anything significant when I was here before, but something significant there. You can hear it. Barely see through there. A little slab. Water running down it. They're pretty. Uh, this is a long section of rocks. I kind of forgot about, about this section, but uh, yeah, you got some stepping stones. You got to work across. Okay, that dark stump right there, combined with a snap of a twig or a limb out there, will look exactly like a bear in your peripheral vision. In my peripheral vision, he was doing this, looking at me like, I wonder what that is. Of course, when I jerked my head to the right, he was a stump. I was thinking about this before. That, you know, in fishing, you catch a lot of grass bass. Hunks of grass that when they're drug across the bottom, feel like a fish biting. And feel like a fish on your line, fighting you. And you reel them in. It's just, just a pack of grass. 
well, when you're hiking, you see a lot of dark stumps that you're convinced are bare. You stop and you look, is it moving? Is it doing anything? Sometimes you're convinced beyond all doubt that it is. You start getting closer, eventually logic kicks in. You realize that the bear wouldn't have stayed there that long, for one. And two, bear don't have tree stumps growing out of them. So. This is a pretty stream right here. No, we're not going upstream. We're actually turning here to go across these rocks, but it's still very beautiful. And then we come to the steps. I know, but forgot about this. I knew there was a point where it pitched up really steep, but I don't remember the steps, so. Now I do. All right, we're up here to the double track uh, kind of thing where the tent spot is. And uh, I think this was a, maybe an old for, uh, forest road maybe or something. It's awfully wide up here. We kept, keep going to our left to reach the AT. A little winded. A little bit of a climb getting up here. All right, we're on the home stretch to the gap. Not about all the climbing we're gonna do. Now we're just walking the ridge to the gap. I don't think there's a, another upswing. It won't be much if there is. Got some blow down here. One of the last couple of storms last year or so. Of course, as soon as you start Talking about no more climbs, you're going to get one. Open it up a little bit under here, I guess, from some of these trees coming down. And you get a view. There we are. There's a good side to it. I guess that's it. And here we are, the Appalachian Trail. South. North. Dockery Lake. Time for a break. So that trail goes down to Miller Gap Road, I believe, though I've never been down it. This is actually called Miller Gap. <clears throat> and we're probably only a mile or so from Woods Hole, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, which is actually that way. It's probably my favorite place that I camped. I don't know why. I just always kind of want to go back there. I'm sure I will at some point, but... Yeah, I'm gonna head back down the trail and get to the car and find me something to eat. <laughs> and some peanut butter and some olives. No. Tied me over, so we'll see. Beautiful day, cleared up. Didn't cloudy all and off all day, but up here on the gap it's really clear and sunny, which is nice. Really nice. All right, making our way back down. Should make a little bit better time. Won't be as strenuous. It's interesting as you make your way off the gap back down how things change. You know, we're kind of in this uh, thicket of, we just came through a thicket of laurel and now we're down here skirting this creek and there's a ton of rhododendron too on the trail uh, to the side of the trail but you kind of wouldn't expect that we're going to come down into the creek bed under a huge canopy into some open area so you know things just change just crazy yeah this couple was coming up the trail they wanted to know how far it was and i don't know it's less than half a mile maybe more like a quarter but, uh, talked to them for a good bit Kind of cool. As you can see, the sun is out a little bit, so that's cool. We're making our way. Still got a probably three miles, two and a half to go, probably. The stream's really well defined down there. It's really cool. You can tell through the trees there. We're still a good ways up. It's got a breeze coming in, which is really nice. Moving some of this air around. 
feels really good. We're still descending down. We're gonna get all the way down to where the lake is. We're a little over 3,000 feet at the gap. We may have dropped 500 or so. I, I'd have to look. But uh, it's really nice. Real nice breeze. Down in here, along the creek, it's a lot wetter and a lot more humid. The ground down here, even though it hasn't rained today, is still very moist. And we're back where we split off from that double track. This really kind of keeps you more or less in single track from here to the end. Did we get to the lake? All right, we're back at Dockery Lake. It's nice and calm. Everybody done gone home. Same for those folks in that big tent. Beautiful. Patiently. All right, return to Dockery Lake is done.